dear students welcome once again so we are in our uh, first module we are studying structural analysis 2 first module and this is our second class in the previous class we saw what is uh assembly supported beam what is a continuous beam what is a fixed beam how to determine the indeterminacy of a continuous beam what is statical indeterminacy then what is how to draw the bending moment diagrams of a continuous beam or fixed beam and the simply supported beam and the comparison of bending moments between these beams these things we have studied in our last class and in today's class we are going to see uh, what are the what is clapeyron's theorem of three moments or what is equation of three moments and uh, where do we apply this clapeyron's theorem of three moments okay coming to continuous beam one of the advantage of continuous beam is it is widely used in bridge construction space structures trusses etc now some important method for analyzing the continuous beams are see we cannot uh, analyze the continuous beams uh, by assuming or by applying the equations of equilibrium alone we need special methods for analyzing the continuous beams continuous beams so the important methods are first one is clapeyron's theorem of three moments second is method of consistent deformation third method is slope deflection method and fourth method is moment distribution method now see this method that is method of consistent deformation you have already studied in your essay 1 how to analyze a beam using method of consistent deformation we have already studied how to determine the deflection and all now in structural analysis 2 for the module 1 you will be studying clapeyron's theorem of three moments module 2 you will be studying the slope deflection method and in module 3 you will be studying moment distribution method so these three methods you will be studying in structural analysis to so our first module is about clapeyron's theorem of three moments so our first module deals with clapeyron's theorem of three moments the derivation and its applications so now we will see what is clapeyron's theorem of three moments now let us see what is clapeyron's theorem of three moments so the clapeyron's theorem of three moments it describes the relationship between moments at three successive supports that means suppose we have three supports a b and c so if we have three supports a b and c the moment at a see because this uh, support at a is fixed you will have a moment at a we will take that as ma we will have a moment at b we will take the moment at b as mb and there will be a moment at c that is mc so this is the relationship between three successive supports moment at three successive supports and the loading on the two span between three supports so that is see you have three supports at a b and c and you have two spans ac and cb so these spans may have different loading conditions there may be concentrated loads there may be uniformly distributed load or uniformly varying load like that so this is the relationship of three consecutive of moments at three consecutive supports and the loading on the 
to span between these supports with or without the unequal settlement of the support that means see this support that is the support at c can undergo settlement or it can have no settlement and this settlement can be equal or unequal that is why without with or without the unequal settlement so the settlement can be represented by delta and with respect to a we can take the settlement as delta a and with respect to b we can take the settlement as delta b and the supports may be at the same level or at different levels now if this is the case also we can take the span length of span ac b l1 and for c b s l2 so if this is the case our theorem states that so how can we write the relationship between the three moments is m a into l1 by i1 plus 2 times moment at b into l1 by i1 plus l2 by i2 plus moment at c into l2 by i2 is equal to minus 6 into a1 x1 bar divided by i1 l1 plus a2 x2 bar divided by i2 l2 plus 6e into delta a by l1 plus delta b by l2 whereas this ma is the moment at a mb is the moment at b mc is the moment at c l1 is the span length of the first span l2 is the length of the second span where i1 is the moment of inertia of the first span i2 is the moment of inertia of the second span and this a1 and a2 you can see a1 and a2 this a1 is the area of the bending moment diagram a1 area of the bending moment diagram of span 1 first span and a2 is the area of bending moment diagram of the second span and this x1 bar x1 bar and x2 bar are the distance of center of distance of centroid of the bending moment diagram from the supports this delta a delta b are the settlement of supports now what is the condition consistency condition or the assumptions required for deriving this relation is that the slope at the middle support calculated from the left span should be equal to the slope at the middle support calculated from the right span that means see when we are taking a continuous beam the two ends are fixed we know there will be slope there will be slope at the center support slope is dy by dx so when you are drawing the deflection diagram see your deflection diagram will be like this so at the support at the support a and at the support b our slope will be equal to 0 here also dy by dx such b is equal to 0 but at this point c dy by dx at c is not equal to 0 and the slope at c calculated from the left span should be equal to the slope at c calculated from the right span now let us see the advantages of clapeyron's theorem of three moments so this theorem of three moments is used for analyzing the continuous beams 
with simply supported ends used for analyzing the continuous beams with fixed end supports used for analyzing the continuous beam with end span overhanging and also used for analyzing the continuous beams with sinking supports